Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. And I wanted to share with you just um, some things that I'm doing, going to do a little differently as far as the channel. So there was Evolutionary Energy Arts 2, and that is now renamed EEARTS or EE Arts. Um, I don't know. It just felt better <laughs> than Evolutionary Energy Arts too. And so what I think I, I am being guided to do is to kind of divide up what we're covering into the two different channels. Instead of just having um, EE Arts as a backup channel, just in case, because when I made that channel, it was because I had two uh, copyright strikes that came out of nowhere. And the third one would have taken down Evolutionary Energy Arts. So I had to do a backup channel. So many people have done that as well. You know, I know BP has done that, BP Earthwatch. I know Dabu's done that. Um, there's quite a few that do that as a regular uh, thing, just in case, right? But the thing with, with us and what we cover here is so expansive. And um, maybe it's almost too expansive in some ways. So what I was going to do is bring it down to Evolutionary Energy Arts, the original channel, still covering mostly Earth Change related stuff. So that's going to be where the Earth Change related stuff is. And the EEARTS, or Evolutionary Energy Arts, the other channel, the backup channel, it won't really be a backup channel anymore. That's going to be where we're going to cover more of the esoterica, you know, things of delving deep into, you know, consciousness, ascension, uh, extraterrestrials, interdimensionals, things along those lines. And so I'm going to post more videos along those lines on that. So it's again, it's E-E-A-R-T-S. And so please do subscribe to both channels. Um, and, you know, watch what you want to watch because, you know, we're so expansive and I've covered so many different topics. And, you know, some people, they just want the earth changes. They just want the news, things that are happening like that. Uh, they don't want to hear anything uh, paradigm breaking or, you know, anything that's going to upset their apple cart as far as their belief system. They just want the earth changes. So, you know, Evolutionary Energy Arts, the first channel, will be more about just the earth changes and going into the science. You know, we could delve some into hidden history there as well, pole shift, all that. Um, but on the other channel, it's going to be more spiritual based and more um, more about ascension and, and things along those lines, the esoteric things. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that and uh you know there's like 63 63,000 subscribers to the first channel uh there's about 3300 to the second so you know hopefully we'll bring up the numbers on the second channel so everybody will be aware that there's different videos going up in both spots and then again on patreon uh all the videos will be put to patreon from both channels and um there are public uh, Patreon videos, like, uh, and that will be the ones that come from these two channels. And then there's some uh, more private ones that only the Patreons see uh, that's going up on a different venue. And again, any, everybody is welcome to please come and join us on Patreon. Uh, it's basically just $1 a month, and then you, know, you get access to the other videos as well, and that supports the channel. Uh, because what's happened now you know, with uh, the way things are in YouTube world is a lot of times a video will go up and I, I won't even know why, you know, earth change stuff would be uh, dubbed unsuitable um, and needs to be reviewed before it could be monetized. But often what happens is, you know, a video's, 90% of a video's views come in the first 24 hours and often it's demonetized, and it's not until 24 hours or so have gone by, and then it's reviewed and found to be fine. But by that time, 90% of the views are gone. And so that's happened so often on the channel 
uh, that the channel, you know, has been cut dramatically with what it was bringing in uh, to the point where it's not really livable anymore. So that is why I started to focus more on the Patreon, and that's also part of um, splitting things up as well so we could figure out a little clearer, you know, what they have issues with. Um, and so I love filming the sky because every time we do it now we get little visitors that come by and uh, Stephanie Allen thank you so much for pointing out in the last video you know there was most definitely another visitor and it's clear and you can see it, it it's like nine minutes and I think 25 and 26 seconds that you could see this object that basically just circles the roof line and you know the timing is incredible because it's at a time when I, I'm talking about the prophecies and saying are the prophecies here to warn us or perhaps the prophecies are here to get us to create you know that chaos and destruction and it's actually using our co-creative powers because we are co-creators we are here manifesting our own reality on this planet and we're manifesting a collective reality as well and so when I brought that up just when I say that there's this thing this orb this sphere that comes into I think it looks like a sphere it looks like the same sort of things that I've gotten on like three other videos now um, and it just comes into view and it comes in at maybe around eight o'clock does a little semicircle and leaves at about four o'clock position amazing you know and so what I'm taking and what I'm feeling is that these are I, I feel that that's more of a benevolent energy that's trying to let us know that help is here and I do believe help is here. I, I do believe there are benevolent beings that are here. Um, and they're trying to let us know that they're here. And they're not going to interfere. They can't interfere. It's like they go by that prime directive of Star Wars and Star Trek, I should say. You know, non-interference. Yet, of course, you know, the malevolent beings that are out here that are just used to getting their own way and they don't care about anything that gets in their way and they will use people, they will use resources. They're the ones that have been here the whole time. And they've covered up our real history. They've covered up all these things. Well, they don't care about obeying any sort of universal prime directive. You know, they're just in service to themselves. So, you know, they will break the law. They will break the rules. And uh, these other beings that are benevolent, they're allowing us to develop at our own pace. They don't want to infringe on our free will. So that is why, you know, they don't infringe. That's why they don't come down in mass. And whether that come down in mass is coming down in a physical 3D ship or whether it's coming down through the... That's an interesting streamer there. Look at that move. That's bizarre. Can you guys see this? I'm, I'm watching this and... Oh man, this this thing feels alive. I'm kind of getting the download at the moment. Feel a lot of energy in my crown chakra. I think they're communicating with us again. Um, so the benevolent beings, now whether they, whether we're talking coming down to us through the dimensions as well, because you know beings that are on the higher dimension above the 4D realm, for the most part. The thought is, negative beings can't get that high. So that was so weird, the way that thing streamed. Um, I so hope that this, I captured it. That was incredible. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that. And sorry that I'm digressing. I mean, where did it go? That was really weird. But... There is really, really weird things going on all the time now. This is this is part of our reality. The dimensions are merging. 
you know, we are going up in dimension. I have no doubt about that. I know that's a truth. There's a lot of things that I just know. And as I've shared with you guys, um, and some people will try to convince me of their 3D reality that, you know, it's all doom and gloom. It's nothing but judgment day. You know, it's it's just destruction. You know, we're born into sin. All those things, you know, and I'm never going to accept them because I know something different and it's not even in my mind. It, it's more than even in my heart. It's a knowing. I knew. I mean, I came in with this knowledge and that is just something that, you know, the, the world system at one point in my life did start to take control of me as it does with so many of us. You know, it takes control and it rules by fear. But that's not the reality that I know. And I know I'm in here for a purpose. And so even, even when, you know, being faced with loss of income or, you know, losing all your belongings, like I've shared with you guys, I've given everything away. There was a time when I owned a house. And I had a hot tub, and I had a motorcycle, and I had a little canoe I could put out on the lake. And um, when I got my divorce, uh, I sold my interest in the house for a dollar. That was it. I took the 12-year-old car that was falling apart, and it did die six months later. She took the $40,000 truck and uh, still has it running. Actually, it, it was just given to my son, and that's like, you know, 16 years later. Um, yeah, I'm not about material things, you know, and I've never been about material things. And I think I've pushed away, um, potential material success because I, I don't like the system and I know I'm here to help others break the system because the system is what enslaves us. And so I'm kind of happy now to be in the position I'm in, um, because I'm free of stuff um, you know, I did get a new, a, a new truck that kind of makes me sick because I went in debt with it, uh, which is something I don't want to do and I hope to pay it off. But I also knew, you know, for me, it's going to be about mobility and freedom and, you know, I, and simplicity. So I'll have the ability to travel out of country to do extended, um, trips you know, and if I want to live down in Mexico or in Costa Rica, Panama, make my way down into South America, you know, and just live basically uh, camping, then that's what I'm going to do. And so, you know, that's what I felt like it was important to do, to have that mobility, but to not be tied to the system. Because the system enslaves us. It really is a system of enslavement in so many ways and we are free beings we're supposed to be free beings and many are coming in from the higher dimensions right now in order to free us and to get us to recognize our inherent possibility and potential we have so much possibility we have so much power in us and so much potential and you know happiness never comes from things True happiness comes from sharing love with others. And, you know, that's that's what we're here for. We're here to lift each other up and to love and to spread that and to awaken others. So I will never fall into a negative belief system ever again. I will never accept anything that is limiting. And uh, I won't even accept the inevitability of death and destruction upon this plane and this planet because I do think we could change our reality. I think it's been changed before. I think timelines have been changed. We are changing them all the time. We can avert the death and destruction and the cataclysm. As I was talking about the idea of a massive solar flash like a nova, again, are they seeding us with these ideas? Or... You know, are they warnings? What do you guys think? I think we need to be very careful about any negative thought.
I think we need to be very careful about any belief system that puts it in us that there's nothing but death and destruction ahead. How is that positive? How is it positive? How is it beneficial? Yes, we need to turn away from the negative ways, the self-serving ways. We need to embrace compassion and love. And if we all had each other's best interest in mind all the time, think about what a beautiful world it would be. We wouldn't have the world we have now. We wouldn't have the death and destruction and spending more money on the military machine than on health and food. It's just incredibly crazy. And we see the fiasco around us of all this craziness. And uh, that's not the world I want. And I know it's not the world that you guys want. And there is help here. There's help here. Benevolent beings are here. And you are one of them, if you're hearing my words, and you've been drawn to this message. Many of us are what we would call starseeds. We really aren't from here, and we recognize it and know it. We're just here on a mission. We have a purpose, and that's why we're here. And so I've known this is the case with me, you know, since a very young age. And uh, fear kept me from living my purpose. And so, you know, I was just fearful of not having a solid, steady paycheck. But, you know, through interaction with others and learning to work past my fears, you know, I haven't had a regular paycheck in years now. Years and years and years. And I'm okay. I'm more than okay because I'm living pretty much outside the system or a lot more outside the system than I have and that feels damn good inside. So I wanted to share all this with you guys. As always, like, share, subscribe, click the bell, get all the notifications, join us on Patreon. And while we're in this system, yeah, we do have to have money to survive, unfortunately, but it's, it's all about changing the system, and we can change the system. We can. We are changing the system, one person at a time. Namaste, my friends. Much love. God bless.